hello everyone so in this particular video we are going to see how actually we can use store procedure in our azure data factory pipeline okay so till now we have seen so many transformation by using azure data factory and in this video we are going to see how actually we can use a store procedure in our azure data factory pipeline and this is one of the important video because most of the time in industry whenever you work you will get to see store procedure in your uh, SQL Server and based on that you have to create a pipeline. So let us try to understand first what is store procedure then we will go further with that. Okay. So suppose suppose you have to you have to write the same kind of the query again and again. Suppose this is the query and this is like 100 line of the query and this you have to execute again and again. So instead of writing this 100 lines of the query again and again what actually we do we actually try to wrap it under the store procedure. Okay and instead of calling the whole SQL query instead of executing the whole SQL query what actually we do we actually try to call the execute command and the store procedure name if uh, we will do this the whole query will execute and multiple times we can call it so that is the importance of the store procedure and this is one of the most important thing and even if you want to pass any kind of the parameter in store procedure you can pass it okay when we'll we'll do a practical we'll try to understand more about it okay so in this video what actually we want to do we have one of the sql server okay so this is our sql server here we have one of the employee table employee table and we have one of the store procedure store procedure also we have okay what this store procedure is doing is like whenever we will pass any kind of the id so that will delete a id from this particular table we have created one store procedure so whenever we will pass any id that particular id will get deleted from this employee table okay and uh, this is the store procedure which we are going to use in our data factory pipeline okay now let us try to understand by doing a practical let me try to explain you how, how actually i am doing okay if you will see here okay we have this particular table if you will if i will execute the employee table i have four record id two four five and six two four five and six i have okay what i am going to create i am going to create one store procedure so what is the structure create procedure and the procedure name what is the procedure name i am giving this is the particular procedure name i am giving delete customer and i am passing parameter at the rate id okay and what is the query i am writing i am writing a query delete from employee table where id equal to the at the rate id so this is the store procedure let me create okay if i will create this particular store procedure will get created and how actually we can execute this if we will execute execute the store procedure name and at the rate id we will pass it if i will pass it one if the one is present in the particular table that will get deleted one is already not present if i will pass two then the two will get deleted okay but this is the this is how actually we actually execute in a sql but how actually we can do this in a our data pipeline that we are going to see okay so we have a store procedure delete customer and we let's open the data factory studio so this is the data factory studio what we have to do go to the author okay click on the pipeline new pipeline okay now if you go to the general you will get to see the store procedure just click and drag it here okay once you will drag it you will see first you have to give the name store procedure employee any name we can give okay so this is the name i am giving store procedure now we have to go to the setting so first we have to create a link service okay so what is our link service so we will create a connection with our sql table first so for that we have to select the server name okay azure sql database azure subscription we have to select what is our server name what is our database name that also we have to select and what is our username let me pass my username and the password 
and we'll try to see a connection so how to create a link service that we already have seen previously also right the same kind of thing I'm doing and I'll check the connection let's see whether the connection established successful or not it is still rotating it is successful click on the create our link service will get ready okay now after that we have to select the store procedure name what is our store procedure name so delete customer this is the store procedure we have created now if you click on the store procedure parameter click on the import you can see id it automatically come okay now here if you will get any value that value it will take it okay so but what actually we want to do we want to pass it during the runtime so what actually i will do i will click here outside if you can click click on the parameter just give id okay and this is the parameter we have now click on the store procedure value click on the add dynamic value and we will just select the this id click on the ok now during the runtime only we will pass it ok so this much step we have to follow we have to go to the general we have to give the name in setting we have to create first link service then we have to give the store procedure name and if you click on the import the parameter whatever the parameter that we will pass it ok now click on the publish all no issue right we only have to pass whatever the id we want to delete during the runtime and that id will get deleted right so that is the use case we are doing as of now by using the store procedure okay let's wait it to be completed it's publish completed now let's try to trigger it click on the trigger trigger now now it is asking id so we have id 2 right so let me pass the id 2 click on the ok now let's go to the monitor let's see our pipeline got completed successfully or not it's running so let's wait it to be completed our pipeline is in progress state let's wait it to be completed okay once it will complete you will get to see like your id is getting deleted you can see it is succeed now now i will go to the database now if i will execute the employee table the two should not be there okay you can see id2 got deleted now we only have 4 5 and 6 let me execute one more time to show you if i will execute the this one more time add trigger trigger now and if i will pass this id4 click on the ok the id4 will get deleted our pipeline is now running Our pipeline is running it is succeed now if I will go to the SQL database if I will execute now employee table you can see ID 4 got deleted so that is how actually we can use it I hope you go